Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully created all that our guards, right? I have created one of the new guards as a admin guards. Now I want to do and to access that admin guards, that, that is our authenticated session controller. From here, some of the file will be needed. Like that is our re redirect to factory and then also another one, attempt to authenticate. So if you want to find out this file, if you search again with the P, if you search it, uh, authenticate, you can see that file is allocated into the vendor Laravel 45 SRC action and that is our attempt to authenticate.php. So first of all, I want to, do, I want to find out that file. If you want to find it, that will be, I better go to our project. So into the project, that is our vendor. You can see there is a vendor folder and then we have to go um, here. We have to go to the um, Laravel 45. I want to go to that Laravel and then the 45 and then that will be SRC, right? Laravel 45 SRC actions, the SRC and the actions, yeah. You can see now that is our attempt to authenticate and also another file as a redirect to factor okay so both of this file i simply copy it i copy both of this file i hope you get that um, file location so that is in our Lara vendor laravel 45 src actions i copy both of these and now in our main project into the app into the actions into the 45 here i want to do i want to paste it i simply paste both of this file in here now in our register, okay, into the register area, I want to work. That means in our 45 service provider, that is our register. So into the register area, first of all, I want to do, I want to simply want to access it. That will be the this, okay, that will be the this. And then I want to don't access that app. App will be when, okay, I use that as a when function. So into the when area, I want to don't to get some of the file. I want to get our first of all our model model that I have already created not that model our controller so that is an admin controller right so I want to, want to load this admin controller I copy it so in our 45 here we have to now work okay so in particular that position I want to access our admin controller so that will be on the class so that is our admin controller class here we have to load it and also in our authenticated session controller here as i told you our attempt to um, authenticate that will be needed i copy it and then in our 45 after that i want to load our another one as attempt to authenticate that will be as a class and then also there is another one another one as a redirect to factor authenticable i copy it and then in our 45, I want to load another one as a redirect to factor authenticate class. Okay, sorry, class. So I simply loaded everything in here. And after that, after that, that will be the needs. I want to needs both of these. I want to need it in our which place? I want to need it in our stateful guard. Okay, as I told you, that is one of the interface. And that have one of the interface as stateful guards. Hmm, that is a logging and the view you can see that is a stateful guards i want to do and also take it i copy it and now in our 45 here into the needs area i want to add that our stateful guard class okay i simply loaded everything and then i want to give that function so then that will be another function as a give so that is all the default one actually that default all that function in jd stream so i will use that as a function and our function name i want to allocate it so here that will be written our which card that i have already created i want to allocate that our auth okay that is a auth authenticated guard that means which user is logging authenticated guard okay guard guard authenticated guard i want to use i want to use which guard i have already put that our guard name if you go to our auth into this auth i have already named that our guard name as a admin right now that should be as a admin perfect so here i simply take all the things in particular that position and also here that will be the semicolon i simply updated that part here i load that our admin controller i load that authenticated um, attempt to authenticate it redirect to factor authenticable and needs i make that our stateful guards and give the class function so now here also we have to do have to load everything uh, like here i want to do and to load it okay so if you want to load it like first of all i want to take it from our authenticated session controller that is a stateful guard will be needed because i here i have already loaded that stateful guard i paste it we need that attempt to authenticate i copy it then that will be another one and also another redirect to factor i copy it and then here i want to do and to paste it perfect and also we need that our 
um, controller name as the admin controller so if you want to use it so that will be the use use in our which place that is in our app backslash http backslash controller okay that will be the controllers folder into this controllers folder here i have created as a admins controller right if you go you can see that is our app http controllers and then i have created our admin controller so now make that sure you have to update it admin controller and also i use that auth also we have to uh, use it so that will be the use auth okay i also want to do want to access it or auth that is on the default middleware and now one thing our stateful guard is perfect that will be comes from particular that position but in attempt to authenticate and redirect to factor authenticate i have already take both of this file in our actions fortify i have already added that things in here and that is also another one so this will be for the admin by default that will be comes from to the main one that is a lot of which is allocated into the laravel fortify actions right now i want to customize it i want to add that another multi authentication systems so that is for our admin for the admin it should be get that things from here okay so now we have to update that path so that will be not in here that is in which place first of all here we have to add that our app and then backslash right that is the app backslash and then the actions folder so that is the actions folder and into this actions that is our fortify right so that is a fortify right now there is a app actions and then the fortify and here i have already added that our mm, redirect to factor and also attempt to work so that will be the same better i copy it and then here i paste it right so that will be the app actions fortify attempt to authenticate redirectable and then i loaded our controller i loaded that auth and that will be our stateful guard because everything i have already used it in here you can see there's a one two there is a three there is a four and there is also another one okay perfect so now we have to also update uh, some of the files and so better i want to continue this process okay i want to continue this process in our next video step by step we'll complete that our multi-authentication system so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video